Deku! Ida! Uh. Let's do our best in the sports festival! <laughs> Raga, what happened okay. to your voice? Seriously, what's She's up? You're normally like the most laid-back yeah. girl ever. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my wife Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season one. No. Almost. That's it's not, not season one. Not what what season doing. is it? It's season two, episode one of My Hero Academia. That's the idea, Ochako. I'm having so much fun with the variety of quirks and just seeing them kind of develop individually, but also as a collective, like figuring out how they best work together. I'm just, it's going to be cool seeing that moving forward. This season is a really nice. great season. Uh, it definitely builds upon the first. I like this one better and I'm excited to get started. So without further ado, thank you for watching and make sure to like, comment and subscribe down below for My Hero Academia coming every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you can't wait, and want to see these episodes ahead in their extended full-length forms, along with episodes of Code Geass and Demon Slayer, check out the Patreon linked in the description below where they are all posted in their extended full-length forms. Alright, are we excited for Season 2, Episode 1 of My Hero Academia? Absolutely. Alright, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. The first incident was in Ching Ching City. An extraordinary child was born who radiated light. After that, reports of people with superpowers popped up across the globe. No one knew what was causing these quirks. The world became a superhuman society with about 80% of the population possessing some uncanny ability. A new profession dominated our collective consciousness. I just love it the style of this show. Heroes. Yeah. It's so bright. <laughs> Fear not, citizens. Hope has arrived. Because I am here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Told you that clip would keep coming back. It's right. very cute. <laughs> yeah. That's so oh, he's come so far. Yeah. I was born without superpowers. Corkless. Just an ordinary kid. I wanted to be like him so badly, but I wasn't. And so I started to give up on my dream. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Still, even though my brain told me I could never be a pro, in my heart I knew all I wanted was to be a hero. And thanks to the people who guided me and supported me, I am here now, on my way. Yeah. All right. Pretty cool, right? Mm-hmm. My dream is becoming a reality. And though I've had setbacks, I keep pushing forward. He looks so cool here. He does. My journey the two-tone hair is very fun. You see, this is the story. Or I guess three-toned. Then. Yeah. That the fact that that is animation is yeah. and now unbelievable. for a kick ass intro. Perfect. I run to this all the time. This is That's a really like this would be a good writing song for horse. Kenny, I'm gonna kill you. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Every time. But listen to the tone of the singer's voice. I just really like it. <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> the stadium aspect is so interesting because for like a superhero society, you would think external stuff is more important. Yeah. But the, I mean, training, obviously, but a stadium for training implies watching. Yeah, so. that's a good observation. <clears throat> All right. Very cool. So, right. what are your thoughts on that intro? I like that a lot. The training part, I can see why you run to it. It would be a good horseback riding song. It seemed like a lot of training, a lot of like prep work. So, kind of training arc situation. And then you were. But yeah, the stadium. Because if the point of training these heroes is to fight super villains out in the world, it makes sense that there needs to be an academy. But you can have a stadium without stands. But there were stands. Yeah. So oh. why are we doing that? Wonder why. We'll have to see. Up next, an update on yesterday's incident in 
at the UA Rescue Training Center where hero core students were attacked by a gang of villains. That was a pretty big attack. Yeah. Officials, the criminal forces well, that's intense. The themselves the League of Villains. Investigators have reportedly uncovered that this group has been plotting to kill UA teacher and popular hero All Might since the spring of this year. Police arrested 72 villains at the scene, but the League's leader escaped. His whereabouts are unknown. Greetings. The air is warm here. Feels like summer is just around the corner. I hope this letter finds you well, sir. In good health and even better spirits. This semester I took a position as a teacher at UA High School, now guiding the next generation. Still of learning heroes. to be a teacher, even. I was mm -hmm. hoping to find someone worthy of inheriting my power among the elite students at the school. A hero in training with outstanding test scores and a powerful quirk. However, before I ever began my tenure at UA, I met a young man. Even though he was weak and had no quirk of his own, he showed incredible bravery. He rushed into a dangerous situation that caused bravery or heroes, stupidity. There's a fine line. Yeah. I feel like watching this young man spring into action taught me something that day, and it reminded me of the virtues I must embody in order to call myself a pro, a hero. That's why I meant it when I said to him, "Young man, you too can become a hero." Such a legendary Soon after moment. That, Told this yeah. The secret of my work. Propose that I transfer it to him. I'm excited for you to learn more about one for all. Me too. On from person to person, one for all. He accepted without one hesitation, for all. Mm -hmm. and I began training him for the trials he'd need to overcome in order to be accepted into the hero course at UA High School. Even though he sometimes struggled with his newfound abilities, he never stopped fighting and gave 100% as he tried to harness one for all. I believe I found the perfect person to pass my quirk on to. <laughs> He's got the nice balance of stupidity and bravery that All Might has. 100%. I'm still quite new to the role of instructor. The day may come when I must trouble you, my old teacher, for advice. Ooh, who is All Might's teacher? When that time comes. Until then, please take care of yourself as the seasons begin to change. I'll continue to keep you updated about what's happening. Sincerely yours. So... Toshinari has found a worthy successor. All Might has a different name, obviously. Well, yeah. is is it obvious? Toshinori is his is his real name. Does everyone have a a name that they're yeah. called as it, superheroes that's different from their regular name? Yeah, you make up your hero name. Interesting. Like All Might is something that was come somebody came up with for him, or he came up with. Okay. Like, um, it's the same reason why, like. Eraser head, and then Aizawa is the name of their team. Oh, gotcha, like, gotcha, it's, gotcha. It's the same I thing. see. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And this guy called him Toshinor Toshinori, which is his real name. Mm -hmm. Our investigators are trying to learn everything they can about this so called League of Villains. We've made some progress, but we can't find anything on this Shigaraki so far. We've searched our records for men in their 20s or 30s who are registered as having some sort of disintegration quirk. <laughs> so far oh, that's interesting. Gate villain Kurogiri. So they're not yeah, citizens. They or the registration. Okay. I'm just liking this. Everyone has a slightly different, or I mean, everyone has a different quirk in general, but the variation parts, because I hadn't thought about having to sort them. Yeah, because some powers are kind of similar. Yeah, well, and I feel like you would defeat some the same way, so it makes sense that you'd have specific teams for, like, different situations. Yeah, like, exactly. Very cool. Yeah, but there's a, yeah, Quirk Registry. Mm -hmm. the Warp Gate villain Kurogiri. So they're not citizens or they're using aliases. Hard to find either way. So what you're really saying is we don't know anything. We've got to track them down. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Once he heals up, he'll probably try pulling something like this again. What a pain. He did seem like the type. The attack on the USJ was too bold. No sane adult would ever attempt it. The yeah, it was pretty brash. About the reasons he was there, and he bragged about no yeah. one's many quirks, but he never said a word about his own powers. When things didn't go his way, he was visibly upset. Like he was gonna throw a tantrum. I guess bragging about Nomu's quirks was a quick way to draw me into a fight. That might be true, yes. But strategically, it was foolish to reveal his quirks up front instead of keeping them a secret. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shigaraki like, why do that? Wild, Dumbass. immature claims, but did so with a completely what? straight yeah. face. <laughs> Is the personality of a spoiled little brat. A man-child. Definitely Nepo baby vibes. Power, yeah. 
It's possible he never got the court counseling students receive in elementary school. Maybe so. Court counseling. The court counseling. There were 72 villains arrested in the aftermath of the USJ attack. What worries me is that this man-child got them all to follow his crazy plan. He viewed him as a real leader. Criminals are starting to feel more pressure now that the world They're like is organized. Yes. Yeah. Could be why they were so quick to back such a simple-minded villain. Yes, that makes sense. There are plenty of people out there looking for a cause to get behind. So what can we do to stop them? Well, it is thanks to you heroes that we have the time to devote ourselves to this case. We'll expand our investigation and continue searching for the perpetrators who planned this attack. A man-child, huh? In some ways, he shares common ground with our students. They both have so much potential. And like our students, I suppose it's possible someone is guiding him, trying to nurture his malice and villainy. When you said Nepo baby, made me think that. Really? Yeah. Who could be? Who could be <laughs> the teacher? Yeah. School was closed the day after the League of Villains attacked the USJ. I think they wanted us to have a little break. Yeah, understandable. You think? Some decompression time for their trauma. Yeah. Do we want to do a day of literally anything else? <laughs> this is literally me though with my hero. Like I'm watching that same scene that I'm still so far uh, away two episodes ago. A real hero. During the USJ attack, all my classmates and I did was slow Mr. Aizawa and 13 down. If it weren't for All Might and our teachers, we never would have stood a chance against those villains. In order to truly oppose evil, I have to make All Might's power my own. I have to embody one for all and master every aspect of it until it's second nature for me. Because there isn't much time left and because i'm the one he chose i'll make him proud. heavy heavy weight to carry around knowing you're the successor yeah. to all might you know 100 percent. i'll be right there thanks mom <sighs> eat up those new muscles need lots of fuel was she excited because he was working yes. out no she's just Why a great she? mom she's just a great mom she seemed especially excited to see him in that context but okay i think she's just, maybe she's just chipper, excited to like 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 okay all right or maybe he's feeling better after you the know, incident who yeah. knows maybe right? yeah it seems like she was like relieved about something yeah maybe that could be it that he's guys, able to eat again and stuff did you yeah. watch the news last night yeah. good catch it was so cool that we got a few seconds of screen time though i bet nobody noticed me hanging <laughs> out in the background probably not <laughs> It is difficult to stand out when you're just gloves. We're totally big deals. Those oh, what is love us. We're what the ear thing? Oh, yeah. She has, uh, she can remember she has earphone jack. That's her quirk. Oh, she I can, didn't like, plug remember into that. Things. Oh, gross. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know. I forgot about that. Oh. Who knows what would have happened to us if the teachers hadn't shown up. Why'd you say that? I'm going to pay myself just thinking about it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> so true. That was sick. They say the bird guy is, is right next to a bird guy. Yeah. Uh, we're all sitting. Yeah, you're the only one standing. Dang it! He's upset. The class rep. Who do you think's gonna teach class today? Mr. Aizawa was still in the hospital recovering from his injuries. Huh? Morning, class. <laughs> well, what are you doing here? Yeah, he's still not in the greatest shape. Time for breaks. Yeah. I'm glad you're okay. You call that okay? My well-being is irrelevant. What's well, more teachers don't even have adequate health care in this yeah. universe. Don't tell me. Wait, hold on. More important is that your fight isn't over yet. Our fight? Don't tell me. Not more bad guys. It's like the whole deal. The USA sports festival is about to start. Oh, yes! Sports festival. Sports festival. Like that. Okay. The so it's not a sports fight festival. stadium. It's just like a school stadium. Yeah, it's a school stadium for heroes. So we'll see. But yeah, what do you think? UA sports festival. What are the first thoughts that spring to your mind? I initially thought it was going to be just like a sparring kind of thing. But when they say sports festival, that makes me think specific events. 
but specific events, I would imagine, are very, very difficult to score with so many different quirks. Like, it's like the epitome yeah. of the, like, you know, everyone's intelligent, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it's going to spend its entire life thinking it's stupid. Yes, but imagine, like, that fish has water generation powers and, like, puts water on the ground to actually get up the tree faster than right. the other people. That's the universe we're in. So yeah. imagine a bunch of different adaptations. Well, just fish how many... that are finding different ways to get up that tree. Yeah, well, in the creativity aspect of it, you can't have as many rules because the powers are so different. So it's a lot more like, it's like fundamental. Here's rules. the end accomplishment. That okay, that is so interesting. I think yeah. the the sports competition situation is going to be something where it's like, okay, this is the objective, and you know, some people are like flying in to try to get like an aerial view of something, and some people are like, there's a lot you know of different I mean? things you know what you can I mean? do. There are I'm, literally yeah. infinite well, possibilities. Let's see what it's all about, but it's some interesting thoughts. The Sports Festival! Let's go kick some ass! No, wait a second. Is it really such a good idea to hold the Sports Festival so soon after the villain snuck inside? Apparently the administration thinks this is a good way to show that the threat has been handled and our schools are safer than ever. <laughs> oh, great. Plus, Perfect, yeah, so we're just going to pretend, <laughs> and that's good. This event is a huge opportunity for all students at UA. It's not something we can cancel because of a few villains. Uh, I'm sorry, but why not? It's just the sports festival. Meta, <laughs> don't you know how important this competition is? I just don't want to get murdered. Our sports festival is Fair one point. of the most watched events in the entire world. In the past, everyone obsessed over the Olympic Games, but then quirks started appearing. Now the Olympics have been drastically reduced in terms of scale and viewership. For anyone who okay. cares about competition, there's only one tournament that matters. The well, US yeah, it would be kind of boring to watch yeah. a regular person try so, to like run and jump fast. UA Sports Festival takes cool. the place. All right. This is where you get scouted. Sure, unless you're dead. She's right. After graduating, a lot of people join pro agencies as a sidekick. Yeah, but that's as far as some people Interesting. Go. They miss their okay. chance to go Indian and stay eternal sidekicks. Actually, that's probably where you're headed. Kind of dumb. <laughs> Just wow. like that joining a famous hero agency can garner you greater experience and popularity. If you want to go pro one day, then this event could open the path for you. One it's a pretty big a deal. Year, mm -hmm. Three chances in a lifetime. No aspiring hero can afford to miss this festival. It's interesting seeing the overlap between like <laughs> professional athletes and law enforcement. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah, that's interesting. The, the fact that the goal for them is to ultimately become law enforcement, like professional yeah. law enforcement. Mm -hmm. And the way that they determine that is through like sports competitions and they're like scouted and recruited to be part of yeah. like the different like Agencies, teams of yeah. law enforcement. Like that is so, that's very different. Yeah. That villain stuff sucks, sure. But I'm pumped for these games. We put on a good show, and we're basically on the road to being. It's a pros. pretty big deal. Yeah, they, yeah. they could make or break place. some people. We get so few chances. We have to make the most of this. Do I know his voice? Um, I feel like we should. I know him from something. I'm gonna let me like, look it up. He was in Attack on Titan. Doing what? Um, hold on. I think it's Armin. <laughs> It's Armin! Yay! Wow! Okay! Oh, okay! It's such a different voice! Yeah! How would you even know? Dang. I don't know! Wow. Go Montana. Take your bow. Yay! You did it. Amazing. Wow. Montana's detected so a fun. voice. Amazing. There's more that come in the show. <laughs> you meant there's more of him talking. have to make the most of this. That's Armin? <laughs> Never would have guessed that. Yeah. Maybe you Pretty noticeable. Get a your costume or something. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're gonna have to try really hard. <laughs> My, what's the boy to do? I stand out even when I'm standing still. <laughs> that means the scouts won't be able to take their eyes off me. His scenes, nobody ever really pays attention to. This is kind of him doing his thing. Everybody's like, "All right, That's buddy." What he does. People are bound to notice your unique quirk. Everyone's so excited. Well, yeah, of course we are. We enrolled at this school with the sole aim to become heroes. So naturally, we're all getting fired up. Wow, Ida, those are some interesting moves, really. <laughs> You 
be excited too, right, Midoriya? Well, yeah, of course I am. And also nervous. Deku! Ida! Let's do our best in the sports festival! <laughs> well, what okay. Seriously, what's She's that? You're normally amped like the up. Yeah. Ever. Everyone, I'm gonna do my best! Yeah! yeah. yeah. I said I'm gonna do my best! Got it. Okay? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Look like you're yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, positivity. There's something I've been meaning to ask her. <laughs> oh my god. She gave it her all. That's, I mean, honestly, me doing affirmations uh, at, yeah. at school. Literally. <laughs> it's not going to be very good, but I'm going to do my best. Yeah. And that has to be enough. Hey, <laughs> What's that? Why did you decide to come to UA? What made you want to be a pro hero? Well, because... Uh, for the money? You want to be a hero so you can get rich? <laughs> if we're cutting to the chase, then yeah. I'm sorry if it sounds greedy. You two have such admirable motivations. I hope you don't think less of me now. Not at all. Your goal is to support your well-being, which is a perfectly admirable ambition to have. It's just kind of surprising. <sighs> well, you see, my family owns a construction company, but we haven't gotten any work lately, so we're flat broke. Anyway, this isn't really something I usually tell other people, but... Construction, eh? <gasps> If she got licensed, I bet she could use her quirk to bring costs down a lot. And they could sell their heavy lifting equipment. She could fly. Interesting. Because she could right? just take away the gravity. Okay. Okay. But Why won't he listen? You want to work for us? When I grow up all big and strong, I'll help you and mommy out any way that I can. <laughs> I really appreciate the thought, Ochako. But as your dad, I'd be even happier if you achieved your own dream. That's the way to make us happy. And if you do make money, you can take us to Hawaii or something. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Good relationship. <laughs> it's like, I'm don't wear our burdens. That's crazy. My parents have an easy life. But she still is determined to do it. All right. For good reasons, you okay. know? Okay. I mean, it's her own deal. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> so noble. <laughs> the way he claps. That is so funny. <laughs> Are you liking Ida more, like, yes. understanding him? 100%. People, he's like people's favorite little nerd boy. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of I am here, you are here. <laughs> he's asking him, it's really cute. Sure thing. Is something wrong? Tiny little lunchbox. That's very cute. I wonder what he wanted with Deku. I heard that when All Might was attacked by villains during the USJ incident, Midoriya tried to stop them himself. Perhaps that's what this is about. Also, remember what everyone Asumi has such interesting box. side profiles. Yeah. Isn't it a lot like All Might? The, the designs are really yeah. interesting. Yeah. They're so similar to each other. It's possible that All Might. It's so obvious to see which characters are oh, real characters, though. <laughs> right. Yeah. All Might and Izuku Midoriya. But did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah, that I Quirks talked so over this. Similar to each other, it's with All Might. That All Might's taken a liking to him. Mm -hmm. How lucky! All Might and Izuku Midoriya, huh? Only 50 minutes? Yeah, that's about how long I can use my power now. I overdid it too many okay. times. You were wondering. A little under an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Took two customer. hours off his time. Took a lot Damn. Out of me. At this point, I can barely even look like All Might for an hour and a half. I'm so sorry. I should have just. Oh. Did he burn his mouth? No, he just. That happened. Oh. It's just all the time. Oh, all might need uh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. I see. <laughs> Classic All Might. Spitting up blood. Like you and me. Have some tea. I brought you here to talk about the festival. The problem is you still can't fully control one for all yet. <gasps> Wait, I did once. When I landed a smash on that brain villain. There was no backlash at all. Oh, that's right. You did mention yeah. that. What, what was different about you, that smash? Mm -hmm. What was different? Let's see. We were facing real villains, and I didn't have much time to think. But maybe that's part of it, since I knew this wasn't just more training. I'm sure you're aware that Not I Not overthinking it. It's called exactly. Yeah. I can use it to suck up anything and turn it into dust. But my quirk could also very easily be used to kill. This was the very first time ever that I used my power against a person. 
Sounds like you succeeded in subconsciously putting on the brakes so you wouldn't have to kill anyone. Because he wouldn't. Interesting. He yeah. couldn't. Okay. There was like a subconscious limitation. Yeah. Oh, right. Thank you. Okay. To be frank, I don't have much time left as the world's symbol of peace. Soon I'll have to put that title to bed. And what happens then? And some villains out there are starting He's going to have to take over, I guess. Someone has to step up and keep the people safe. Because there can't just be a vacuum. Yeah. I gave you my the power vacuum, for man. one reason, because you will be the hero who takes my place. I want to be the greatest hero in the world. I want to save people just like you do. When they see my fearless smile, they'll feel safe. Do you still feel the same way you did when we met? Do you still want to be a hero? Yes. Excellent. The time has come for you to prove it. This sports festival, it's something that the pros know. The entire country will be watching very closely. I want you to think of this sports festival as your debut. The you big moment. All right. Peace. The next All Might. Izuku Midoriya. I want you to introduce yourself to the world and proudly say, I am here. Yeah. The hard launch? It's the hard launch. Fantastic. Yes. All right. So we have... First of all, this ending, I, it's very fun. Just casual slice of life. Love it. Homies hanging out, you know. I wish they prepared something a little more difficult. Especially since my dear old dad was oh, watching. Oh, his dad sucks. What did you think of the first episode of season two of My Hero? Loved it. Very fun. I'm excited to get more into general existing in the world that they have set up now because so much more can be done now that they don't have so much explaining to do yeah like uh, this feels like the first episode was i mean the first season's like just gives you a little taste of everything and now it can yeah. just build off of this but exactly. the ua sports festival so excited to show you that but uh that's about it for this episode thank you for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe down below if you're excited for season two episode two the roaring sports festival coming next sunday at 12 p.m eastern standard time if you can't wait and want to see these episodes of all the shows we're watching right now in their extended full-length forms check out the patreon link in the description below where they're all posted right now we have a lot to discuss but before we do that where are we headed all right let's review Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions that we answer after every episode of any show or movie that we watch, check out the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Uh, by the way, with My Hero, the thought might be to start doing two questions per episode. That way we can get through episodes quicker and potentially start to watch further ahead. Play it by ear, but on some episodes I might choose two questions just to get us right. going a little bit quicker. Um, TBD, but it's just an idea I'm floating. But for now, let's go to question one. By Bye Bye Panic asks, considering My Hero Academia society as a whole and what we've seen of pro heroes and villains, what do you think of Uraraka's motivations for becoming a hero basically wanting to join to make more money to support her family i think it's definitely not not admirable um i mean people are allowed to have different motivations for things and yeah abstractly when you hear like i'm doing it for the money your inclination might be like greed but in this case yeah i mean if it's to provide for your family and you're coming from a situation where you don't have the privilege to make a decision based on just like oh what is fun for me um like i mean we had so many friends at college who were pursuing medical careers not because they were so passionate about being a doctor but yeah. because they were passionate about not being in debt for the rest of their lives yeah like that kind of thing i think it's totally um, noble and good to, mm -hmm. and like especially like it would be one thing to be like i want to which is like you know what power to you but doing it for your family as well like, like yeah. it, it's definition of selfless you know it would be one thing if she was like i want to be a hero so i can have like gold plated toilet seats but wanting to be a hero so that you can provide for your family and not worry there's nothing wrong with that absolutely all right let's go to question two question two uh jincherky 87 asked given his current ability to control or lack thereof of one for all do you think now is the right time for Deku to proclaim himself the new symbol of peace? Why do you feel All Might wants him to do this so soon? Okay, so I don't think it's the best time. Um, 
just because he's still so inexperienced with it, but I get that there's a bit of a rush on that because All Might has so little time left with his powers or just like in general. Yeah. Um, I think potentially for him to hard launch like this in conjunction with All Might, maybe they can have a couple fights together that will like socially project this idea that like I'm passing the torch <sighs> rather than I'm like at the end of my rope and this is like what we're figuring out. But if he doesn't do well. And but the other thing is also he can't reveal that he gave him one for all. Yeah. But yeah. If that, he doesn't do well. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's gotten one good punch ever, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, if he doesn't quick. do well, that kind of invalidates all of it. And because it's such a public showing, it's not like, you know, failing privately. Like, everyone's going to know that he doesn't have control of his power. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty risky, but who knows? Mm -hmm. It's Deku. He's very intuitive. We'll have to see what he does. Yeah. The only thing that may, maybe makes me think a little bit differently is the, um, the like, the conversation All Might had with Deku at the end about like what was different about that last one because yeah. maybe because like maybe the fact that it was real life and an actual person like maybe it follows the concept of like people are safer drivers when they don't have a seatbelt on because it's like mm. if you know that things could potentially get really bad then there's like an extra I don't know. I'm having a hard time putting it into words. Yeah, I mean, he was too. So yeah. <laughs> maybe we'll find out more throughout the sports festival. But that's it for questions. Thank you for watching. Are you excited for episode two of season two of My Hero Academia? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.